Hey, ever wondered? The 70s Hollywood era showcased iconic roles, groundbreaking films, and unforgettable stars. Time has dimmed the lights, and many have left us. Yet, their legacies endure, evoking a poignant desire to revisit their brilliance and reflect on lives lived in the spotlight. Please join us to find out 10 Hollywood movie stars 1970s who have died. John Wayne, born Marion Robert Morrison, was born on May 26, 1907 in Winterset, Iowa, USA. He was a legendary American actor and filmmaker. Often remembered for his roles in Western films, John Wayne's career was marked by numerous successful films, especially in the Western genre. Some of his notable films include Stagecoach 1939, The Searchers 1956, Rio Bravo 1959, True Grit 1969, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. Sadly, John Wayne passed away on June 11, 1979, at the age of 72. The cause of death was complications from stomach cancer. John Wayne left behind a lasting legacy in the film industry. His contributions to cinema, especially in the Western genre, have made him an enduring cultural icon. Cancer yeah. or no cancer, yeah. but I now if I uh, take us in those days, they call him shooters. He and Ripley have got this shooters. all figured out. Steve McQueen, the iconic American actor, was born on March 24, 1930, in Beach Grove. Indiana, USA. He became one of the most popular and successful actors of the 1960s and 1970s, known for his roles in films such as The Great Escape, Bullet, and The Thomas Crown Affair. Steve McQueen passed away on November 7, 1980, at the age of 50, in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico. The cause of death was complications following surgery to remove metastatic tumors from his abdomen. He had been battling mesothelioma a type of cancer associated with asbestos exposure. Steve McQueen left behind a lasting impact on the film industry. Additionally, the Steve McQueen Charitable Foundation was established to support various causes, including cancer research and programs for at-risk youth. Right, rightfully so. I thought she, I think she was a bit, uh, she, she thought I was a little crazy, you know. I think that really isn't the case. People who enter into competition, especially uh, in the United States. Richard Burton, the Welsh actor, was born on November 10, 1925 in Pontryheidefen, Wales. Richard Burton had a distinguished career in both film and theater. Some of his notable films include Cleopatra 1963, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf 1966, and Beckett 1964. And whoa! He gained prominence for his stage and film work, earning multiple Academy Award nominations throughout his career. His stage performances, particularly in Shakespearean roles, were highly praised. Sadly, Richard Burton passed away on August 5, 1984, in Celine, Switzerland. The cause of death was a cerebral hemorrhage. He was known not only for his acting talent, but also for his tumultuous romantic relationships, including marriages to Elizabeth Taylor. A novelist did write, and indeed you could accuse him of over-exaggeration. Because, all right. Dame Edith Sitwell and Dame Edith Evans and uh, Louis McNeil. Groucho Marx was born Julius Henry Marx on October 2, 1890 in New York City, New York, USA. He was a legendary American comedian actor and one of the Marx Brothers, a group of comedians that included his brothers. The Marx Brothers achieved great success with their irreverent and humorous films, including classics like Duck Soup, A Night at the Opera, and Animal Crackers. However, Groucho Marx passed away on August 19, 1977, in Los Angeles, California, USA. The cause of Groucho Marx's death was determined to be pneumonia. His wit, humor, and unique style continue to influence comedians and entertainers to this day. The book is going to have the letters back and forth from the people who have written to me. That some of them will have to be expurgated, I imagine. Yes, that's, I was wondering about the, you know. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin was a legendary English actor, comedian, and filmmaker was born on April 16, 1889, in London, England. Chaplin's career in the film industry began in the silent era, and he quickly rose to fame with his comedic performances. His notable works include classics such as The Kid, City Lights, Modern Times, and The Great Dictator. Chaplin's contributions to the world of cinema earned him accolades and a lasting legacy. Unfortunately, Charlie Chaplin passed away on December 25, 1977, in Vevey, Vaud, Switzerland. The cause of death was a stroke. His contributions to film and his unique approach to comedy have had a profound and lasting impact. 
The Trump character he created remains an enduring symbol of humor and resilience. So futile, so feeble. I can only, oh, you're wonderful, sweet people. Thank you. Marlon Brando, one of the most influential actors in the history of American cinema, was born on April 3, 1924, in Omaha, Nebraska, USA. He was known for bringing a level of realism and intensity to his roles that was groundbreaking in the film industry. He revolutionized the art of acting and became a cultural icon during the mid-20th century. His notable roles include Stanley Kowalski in A Streetcar Named Desire, 1951, and Vito Corleone in The Godfather, 1972. Unfortunately, Marlon Brando passed away on July 2004 at the age of 80. The cause of death was respiratory failure brought on by pulmonary fibrosis. I was thinking about what I would do if I were interviewing you. When there's a camera right there, when there's another one there, and there's another one there. Jack wow. Lemmon, the iconic American actor, was born on February 8, 1925 in Newton, Massachusetts, USA. He had a prolific career in film and is widely regarded as one of the greatest actors in Hollywood history. Jack Lemmon's career spanned several decades, and he was known for his versatile talent, successfully transitioning between comedic and dramatic roles. Lemmon received numerous awards throughout his career, including Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor in Mr. Roberts 1955 and Best Actor in Save the Tiger 1973. Jack Lemmon passed away on June 27, 2001, in Los Angeles, California, USA. The cause of his death was complications from metastatic cancer. He left behind a rich legacy of exceptional performances and contributions to the film industry. And, and uh, uh, the marvelous places that were, you know, when, at least when I was an actor, you have to experience things. You can't just do things without knowing. John Cazale, the American actor, was born on August 12, 1935, in Revere, Massachusetts, USA. He was known for his short but impactful career in film, John Cazale appeared in only five films during his career, and all of them were nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture. These films include The Godfather 1972, The Conversation 1974, The Godfather Part I 1974, Dog Day Afternoon 1975, and The Deer Hunter 1978. Tragically, John Cazale's career was cut short due to his battle with lung cancer. He passed away on March 12, 1978. At the age of 42, lung cancer was the cause of his untimely death. Well, how come? You gonna smoke the cigarette or what? Peter Sellers, the renowned British actor and comedian, was born on September 8, 1925, in South Sea, Portsmouth. Peter Sellers was a highly versatile actor, best known for his comedic roles in films such as the Pink Panther series where he portrayed the iconic character Inspector Jax Clouseau. He received Academy Award nominations for his roles in films like Dr. Strangelove 1964 and Being There 1979. Peter Sellers passed away on July 24, 1980, at the age of 54. The cause of his death was a heart attack. Sellers left behind a legacy of memorable performances. Uh, yes, yes. I was known as the Pavlova of the... Karen Carpenter, the American singer and drummer, was born on March 2, 1950 in New Haven, Connecticut, USA. She rose to fame as one half of the sibling musical duo The Carpenters, alongside her brother Richard Carpenter. The Carpenters achieved great success in the 1970s with hit songs like Close to You, We've Only Just Begun and Rainy Days and Mondays. Karen's voice and Richard's musical arrangements contributed to their widespread appeal. Tragically, Karen Carpenter passed away on February 4, 1983, at the age of 32. The cause of her death was heart failure due to complications related to anorexia nervosa, a condition she had struggled with for several years. Karen Carpenter left behind a lasting legacy in the music industry. Her distinctive voice and the Carpenter's catalogue continue to be celebrated. Thank you. Sincere thanks to all the loyal viewers who watched this video until the end. If you like this content and want to show your support, 
please hit the subscribe button, like this video and share it with your friends. Your support really means a lot to us. Stay tuned for more exciting then, and now stories coming soon. Until next time.